Hey, welcome back. Hey guys, we're oh shit, we're back in Horizon Zero Dawn. I found uh, I did a lot of side questing off camera because Austin's like, Mike, do some side questing off camera, and I was like, that sounds fun because I like side quests. And uh, ran into a cauldron by accident, and I was like, I'll save this for an episode because this looks interesting. Mm, yep. And so you haven't done any of these, right? No, this is my first cauldron. Okay, so these are basically like. They're like boss, uh, they're like mini boss battles, right? Yeah, kind of like mini, uh, like, they're like, uh, like puzzle dungeons, kind of. Ooh, 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 one so not really that many puzzles. You missed that, Austin. That was beautiful. Sorry. It's cool, man. Just fuck me. Fuck me hard. Let's get this over with. Ooh, ooh, ooh. One, please. Thank you. Ooh. Dang it. Okay. You missed. <gasps> I'm dead. Uh, okay. <laughs> I thought that was like a, a platform that I could. Nope. Uh, that was a. Uh, that was a hole. That was a. Um. That was a pit of destruction. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Austin, my mind got blown mm -hmm. yesterday. I found out Timmy Turner in show is six years old. And we know which Timmy Turner I'm talking about, right? Like barely out parents. Yeah. There's no way. Yeah. No, he's six years old. I felt. Oh, for a second, I thought I fell down a pit. You fell down, like, a small area. Yeah. But he's six. Sixty. Six. What? Yeah, he's sixty years old. How? Okay, so, in Fairy, fairy Odd Parents, you know Oh, about... yeah, the climb up the... You turn to your right? Yeah, you see it? Yep, those. Okay. So, you know how in Fairy Odd Parents there are the rules? Yeah, yeah. Well, there's a rule in the rules. That ev there are a few rules in the rules. Mm -hmm. And every child's... <laughs> Wish has to be documented. It has to be documented and put into the rules because our wish can be broken and mm -hmm. they haven't thought of it yet. That's how they basically created the rules. Mm -hmm. Now, another rule in the rules is that you're, there's no such thing as a secret wish. Each fairy godparent has to report every wish. Okay. And uh, this also explains why Cosmo's an idiot, by the way. Okay. So, Timmy makes a wish... Just with just Cosmo alone. Uh, alone, he didn't have Wanda in on it. Mm -hmm. uh, he made a wish, and he wished that Dimsdale would be frozen in time. Ooh, that was a nice shot. He wished that it would be frozen in time. Okay. And so that way, uh, he would never nope. have to lose his fairy godparents. So he stayed ten years old forever. Mm -hmm. Let's see. And so Cosmo's like, okay, there's no rule against that. And so he granted the wish. But Timmy knew about the documentation rule. So mm -hmm. he's like, Cosmo, I wish for you to forget that you made... I, I wish that you would forget everything. And so he forgot everything. Like, you remember that episode of Spongebob where he forgot about everything but fine dining and breathing? Mm-hmm. It's kind of like that. Gotcha. That's weird. Yeah. Is that like a new thing? Is that show still going? Uh, yeah, it, it was kind of new. Oh, it's on me. It's Man, on that me. leaves some plot holes for that show. Well, it kind of makes sense why Cosmo's an idiot, though. Yeah. But it's it is definitely strange. I thought it was super cool. Because it's like one of those like fan theories that uh, that came to life. Mm -hmm. Alright. Let well, you know there's something very dangerous near you. What is it? Don't tell me it's a saw teeth. Mm -mm. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah, you can see it from here. Can I? Oh, it's moving. Is it close to me? Uh, it's on the other side. Oh. Nope, that's still a watcher. It's over there, though. <gasps> what is that? Crab walker. Okay, let me scan the shit out of that. What's his weakness? Um, I don't remember. We, uh, weakness. It look, uh, looks like precision arrows. Yeah, yeah, I think that might be the case. So, you know what I've been uh, listening, you know what I've been listening to a lot of recently? Uh, I've been listening to a podcast on the left. Well, yes, that, but I mean, that's like a daily thing for me. Oh, dude, I love that podcast. Oh, I fucking love it, too. Oh, whoa, 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 wee, but, uh, whoa, Copernicus, calm down. But thanks to that podcast, I, uh, I've i been listening to, uh, I decided I'd start listening to some, uh, some good old David Bowie, because I'll, I'll listen to the episode about, on David o Bowie and the Occult. 
Yeah. Which is a really fascinating episode. Is David Bowie a serial killer? No, 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 no. He okay. was he was an occultist. He was a magician. Oh, okay. That's what hit me before. Okay. Keep going. Um, it's not, I've just been listening to David Bowie, and I think it's interesting. So, before when you'd listen to David Bowie, like if you listen to David Bowie in his heyday. You probably weren't listening to him for the music so much as you were listening to him for the performance. He goes, oh, hit that thing on its back. Okay. Right, right there. Oh, okay, it's well, right it right. turned it turn back on there. So it's it's definitely interesting going back and listening to him and, like, listening for all the lyrics and, like, the music, because he's... Damn it. Because as far as, as a musician, he's pretty good. He's decent. He, he's also a magician? I, I, yeah, he, he was an occultist. He was... Uh, there's an acclaimed occultist uh, who performed magic all the time. Um, well, one interesting thing about that. So one of his albums, he spent an entire year. Uh, he spent an entire year doing nothing but eating peppers and milk huh. and being high on cocaine. That's the best. Like that's the best life, isn't it? Always oh. being high and just drinking peppers and milk. Yeah, right. Like, oh, shit, dude. Like, can you just imagine? Like, they kept making a joke about the smell of, like, what a person would smell like if they ate nothing but peppers and milk. I need to get the high ground on this shit. Or can I just run away? You can just it? run away. Oh, bitching. You're actually down to two precision arrows, so that's probably a good idea for now. Uh, you gotta find somewhere to climb up. It should probably be fine. Um, but yeah, so it's been interesting listening to him. So, so you've been, uh, wait. Oh, yeah, right there. So you've been listening to last podcast? Yeah, um, I still haven't watched, uh, listened to uh, any other one other than the Carl one. I think his name's Carl oh. Marx. Carl Panzerim. Uh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, Carl Marx is a different person, but Carl Panzerim, yeah, the uh, the really like they're, the, that's the crazy, they're, like the most evil man in probably history. Yeah, yeah, it's the second most recent uh, series that they did on uh, their big hitter series. So, who's your favorite member of the podcast? Oh well, see, I I, I still don't know them by voices yet. Okay, but um. Probably the guy who's always like, uh... The one who's always making jokes? Yeah, probably the guy always making jokes. Henry. The one who always makes really bad, like, bad jokes and does, like, the voices? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's Henry. Henry's really My funny. favorite one is the Dark Knight, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking God. Uh, well, society taught me to sodomize, so that's my gift back to society. Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, Carl, Carl was a fucked up dude. Yeah. I mean, all the people they cover are fucked up dudes. I, I noticed that they're all homosexual, basically. Oh, I gotta hold that shit. Um, there's a lot of that in, uh... Well, cause mainly because back in the day, that was like, you have to suppress that shit, or... Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that is interesting. A lot of that is, uh, a lot of that is the case. A lot of serial killers, like, uh... Dahmer was, but Dahmer was, an o like, was... Uh, near the end, he was, like, a more openly homosexual, whereas, like, someone like, uh... John Wayne Gacy claimed to the end of his days that he was straight as an arrow, despite the fact that all of his, uh, despite the fact that all of his victims were young men. Then, uh, do you remember the part where Carl goes to Africa and tries to buy a sex slave? Yeah. And he was trying to make it a little girl to prove to people that he wasn't gay? Yeah. Yeah, that was fucked up. Yeah, it was. Made them soon enough. Okay. And they burned down an oil rig. Good and then Carl. he fed people to crocodiles. Yep. Good for Carl Pandrum. Yeah, man, he made a career. <laughs> he got was... arrested for a clock radio. That's the thing. All serial killers get caught for the dumbest shit. I think my favorite thing, though, is that Carl wanted to be caught. Mm -hmm. Like, for, like at the end of it all. That also usually happens. And uh, then, like, when they were trying to give him the death penalty, there were, like, activists saying that, you know, we can't do the death penalty, it's inhumane. And then Carl's like, I will eat your family if mm -hmm. you do not let them kill me. Yeah. Like, that's usually the case is what happens is a serial killer will have, like, 50, like, will have 50 victims, and they'll, you know, they'll have no way of, uh, and the thing is, they won't find that out until they, like, arrest him for something like tax evasion or shit like that. Yeah, it's like something dumb. Yeah. Like, oh, you, uh, you had, an like <laughs> you had an unpaid parking ticket. I, I like Jeffrey Dahmer's dad's solution to, uh, get him to be better. So let's get you shredded. The Dre Wilson solution. <laughs> I'm just gonna work out your problems. Okay, so I obviously can't walk into that, right? I mean, you could try. Uh, I have a feeling I'm gonna get electrocuted. More likely. Um. So okay. you might want to make some precision arrows because its weakness is uh, precision, precision arrows. Yeah, because you want to shoot the sacks. 
Okay, 14 should be good. Um, yeah, so... I think the only one of the few people that they actually turn around... Oh, wait, uh, yeah, yeah, you want one of those. I think one of the few people that oh, they wait, have... Wait, hold on, that one's purple. Why is that one purple? Oh, it just means it's a rare item. Get, get down, get down. Come on, get down. I think one of the few people that they actually caught for their crimes, like for murder, was uh, John Wayne Gacy, because uh, John Wayne Gacy was famous for uh, burying all the bodies in his basement. Mm -hmm. And, like, the, the fucking, like, crazy thing uh, about it, and I guess it really was just the, the sign of the times... His house, he had parties at his house all the time, and everyone was like, man, it smells like shit here, because there's like 50 bodies under the floorboards. Yeah. But no one ever said anything about it. Well, I know what my favorite part about Jeffrey Dahmer. What was that? That he lived in, like, the projects. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, whenever, like, people, like, kept questioning what the fuck he was doing in his apartment, because, like, he lived in a heavy black neighborhood. Yeah, he was the only, he was, like, the only white guy in a rural, in, like, you know, a, uh, oh, in the projects, essentially. Yeah, and uh, I like how everyone's, like, Answer for what crazy shit he was doing. Oh shit! What crazy shit he was doing there was fucking white people. Mm -hmm. Which you know, I, I agree, fucking white people. Yeah, but it is definitely something that like, like one of his victims was a uh, a young you know black man who I am actually getting overrun. Yep. Who uh, when they when the cops came, they didn't really investigate because it was you know, oh just some you know, gay white guy. Yeah, it just. Just some gay white guy. We're not gonna worry about what this black kid says. It is really fascinating. The shit. And it's also interesting that serial killers, like there, there was like a storm of serial killers in the '80s and stuff. Don't forget, focus the slow mo. Oh yeah, no, I did that just before. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it was just easier to be a serial killer in like the '60s, '70s, and '80s. Yeah, the career was really uh, booming back then. Yeah. <laughs> But now, now a serial killer is. I can like, go for the ones on its neck, right? Oh, yes, yeah, I yeah, can. yeah. They're, they're also you want them to shoot them until they explode. Uh, a if there is it, like there are serial killers now, of course, because it's probably something that exists always. But that's fire. Yep. But uh, if there's a serial killer now, they're definitely like having to work double time to make sure they don't get caught. Ooh, oh, I had, a, I had a feeling I was going to take uh, touch damage. Oh, it's weak to fire. Okay, they're blaze okay, casters. Then. Uh, so, yeah, so just, you know, rapid fire that shit. So, another thing I've been listening to that your uh, that your beautiful wife told me about was uh, My Dad Wrote a Porno. Oh, yeah, it's I listened so about two episodes. Hilarious. <laughs> I'm like 14 episodes in, it's so funny. Want to hear the best part? It's, yeah. a running, uh, it's a running series. Yeah, yeah, like the dad. So his dad's writing more. <laughs> yeah, his dad's like written an entire series. And my, one of my favorite parts is just how British the people on the podcast are. Oh my god, that thing's gonna blow. I wish there was emotes in this game. <laughs> now you want to go read it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Because uh, I think, uh -huh, man, not a Bella Backheart. Oh well. All right, there'll be more. Yeah. Be more. But yeah, I think that's probably one of the better podcasts to listen to. Um. I, I've been listening to Heroes and Halfwits a little bit. It's not bad. Brian really likes uh, yeah, Heroes and Halfwits. Brian really likes it, and that, he's the reason I started listening to it more often. Uh, oh, is it taking me straight to the exit? Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay and so now you can. Uh, we got a skill point out of that, but we can now. Uh... Ah! All right. Sorry, I get excited. I think now we can override the deer and uh... Sigma. Here, uh, look around. Oh, we can uh, we can un override scrappers, sawtooths, lancehorns, and grazer. Cool. Oh, a saw I can ride a sawtooth. You can't ride it, but you can. I can I can be with a sawtooth. Yeah, you can take control oh, of it. Oh, bitchin'. Okay, let's go. Kill to that rabbit. Where? Where? Oh, right. I see it. I lost it. There it is. Kill it. Fire. Oh man, that sound. <laughs> Oh, awesome. Did, I, I don't know. Okay, so I'm not going to lie to you. We really beefed that last episode of Horizon Zero Dawn that came out yesterday. What was the? What was it? It was like a 13-minute video, mainly because nothing happened. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just like we, you just went to a shop and sold stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I was watching that, and I was like... Turkey. I was like, what the fuck happened in this no, episode? Austin, I shit you not, nothing... We ran into a sawtooth, and it killed, killed me in one hit. That's so crazy. And then yeah. we were like, well, let's just fast travel. And we fast traveled to the, uh, to Nora. And, uh, not, and we just sold items. I was like, this is the most boring Let's Play 
I think we're ever uh, episode that we're ever gonna what? What? Bandits? What? Oh, they're fighting somebody. Go, girl! I got you. Oh. You uh, you found a side quest I never found before. <laughs> ah, why'd you hit me? No, did I hit that guy? Yeah, you did. But oh. he's okay. He's invincible. You can tell he doesn't have a health bar. Ooh, he was hiding in my grass. How dare he? Nope. Thank the sun. You look like a fighter, and that's just what we need. That looks like the Mark dumbest the helmet I've ever seen. The wrong crate of ammo. It was marked ammunition, but stuffed with Ridgewood. Without that ammo, we're struggling to fend off watchers. And worse. I'll do what I can to help. Glad to hear it. We need all the. Alert! Log like approaching! A what? The big one? Oh. <gasps> it's a motherfucking turkey! Two arms! Two arms! Oh my god! Yep, long leg. Oh, okay, I thought I was gonna kill that one in like one shot. That would have been epic. <gasps> Tree! <laughs> my worst enemy! <laughs> oh my god. Oop. Did I get it? Nope. Oh, maybe you did. Oop. Yeah, so they shoot uh, Sonic Blast at you. I wanna tame that! Uh, you can, but you can't ride him. That's okay. Look how badass this thing is. So what? I, I did have one that like fucking fought alongside me for a, a good while. So an interesting thing I was thinking about with you playing this. My Ooh. oh yeah yeah then then it just did that. My impulse for you was to call your horse, but I forgot this is a game where you actually have to get horses repeatedly, not like Breath of the Wild or The Witcher Three, which I've been playing. Yeah, I, I hear that's a perma horse. You're lucky. Yeah right. You, you can't the horse can't die or anything. Oh my god, this thing wants my badge so desperately. Only got two hours left. Oh, it's X. Yep. I was wondering what you're doing. I was trying, I was holding down triangle. Everything else is triangle. Oh, critical hit it. Hmm. That was satisfying. Pulling that watcher. Oh, just scrappers. Yeah, I thought it was—I thought it was a sawtooth for a second. No, that would have been so cute. Oh my god, just whipping around like crazy. Is there more? Are you not entertained? Okay. All right. That was, uh, that was a uh, shit show. Yep. So I think that's a good place to end the episode. Oh, that's a great place to end. <laughs> All so, right. Yeah. Come back next time for... I, I'm not sure if we're doing what quest we're doing. I'm, I'm not sure what quest we're doing either, but you know what? Subscribe. You know, help grow the channel if you want to see Tell awesome more